<laughs> we all spend our lives searching the world for glimpses of that light in others. And when we find one, we hold on to those people for that rare glimpse of light in another person, be it a sibling, a colleague, a friend, is the proof that we have that we are not going through this world alone. And Callie and Paul are the epitome of that. Much of Callie's and Paul's families are here on this island today. I include in that sentiment not only kin in the traditional sense, but all of us who have connected with them in the spirit of loving family over the course of this beautiful, difficult, mysterious journey of life. To Callie's and Paul's families, I say thank you and nice work. When I first visited the farm, she said, and this is where I will be getting married. And I thought, yes, I love this for her, I want this for her, and I want to go to this party. <laughs> I work for Alicia, so she gave me this speech that I, I have to read to you all so I don't blow it. That was the best toast we've ever heard. Thank you very much, Alicia. We talk about serendipitous collisions, but to see uh, the serendipitous collision happen between Callie and Paul, this is at a whole nother level. That concludes the MIT portion of the speeches. The, sta the state school kid is here and he brought flashcards. All right. Paul does an incredible job of investing in his relationships with others, being a confidant when needed, and I know he would without hesitation give anyone here the recycled plastic shirt off his back. In a word, being friends with Callie rocks. She's loyal, she's thoughtful, she's incredibly driven, she's a superb baker, and she can make absolutely anybody laugh. But I think the best part about being a friend of Callie might actually be knowing and loving her family. <laughs> the Moriartys are truly exceptional. They're wickedly funny, quietly brilliant, and always unabashedly themselves. Each one of them lights up a room in their very own way, and together they're some of the most entertaining, charismatic, and generous people you'll ever meet. My parents met at their wedding. Could I yeah. get a special round of applause for my wife? My wife has worked. <laughs> do they solve problems? They do. With their smiles, their positive attitude, their positive energy is such a treat. Their smiles are sunshine, and they bring sunshine to all of us. And may the world smile at both of you. We love you. Cheers. I think he knows and recognizes his natural leadership abilities, um, but I think sometimes it's easier to recognize your large accomplishments than it is to recognize how your day-to-day -day interactions inspire the people around you. And Paul definitely inspires the people around him. First, you bring me joy. Whether it's a quiet Sunday on the L couch or running into you in our own hallway. <laughs> Number two, you make me laugh. In third grade, I remember learning that laughing makes you live longer, and that is exactly what I want to do with you. And third, you challenge me. First, intellectually on a daily basis, questioning my thoughts with your wisdom. And second, physically, most specifically, with the running plan spreadsheet you created to get me moving during the pandemic. You make me think, you make me laugh, and above all, you make me happy. The way you operate is so intriguing to me. <laughs> I just can't look away. And now for my vows. But in the interest of under-promising and over-delivering, I will promise you only one thing today. 
a singular vow to which I know I can commit for the rest of my life. I will always love you. Callie, you are the person I want to spend forever with. I will love you forever. I say forever, but that feels limiting. The best is yet to come. Now let's make the most of every moment in this adventure together. Love, Paul. And <laughs> sanctum matrimonium, Kalia et Paulus, multum celebramus, very special day. Spread my wings and let go, something stirring in my soul, I feel it again, feel it again. We made it here today, and we're ready for contract sign. <laughs> Before we proceed, I need to confirm just one thing. You're about to close on a, on a younger man. Callie, can you confirm with a yes that our love is timeless? Yes. Well, then let the record show that age is just a number, and the year you have on me will no longer influence joint decisions. I'd like to think about it. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may seal the union with a kiss. I'm just gonna lock down here. Stephanie, will you marry me? The proposal at the end, I just leapt out of my seat. Kudos to Tommy Mo! Kudos to Tommy for proposing. Yeah. Tommy? <laughs> Come on. That's the only correct answer. <laughs> I was a bit surprised that when I suggested you become my official boyfriend, you unceremoniously responded that you would have to think about it. <laughs> I'm not sure you realize, Ben, how much time a sales rep spend being formally trained in objection handling. Ready to live, ready to live. I love how when we leave to walk Millie together, we refer to it as a family walk. I'm excited to grow our family, to grow our zoo, as you say. And I'm not referring to kids. I'm referring to our second dog. Callie, you truly bring out the best in Paul. You're kind, caring, funny. And if Millie could talk, I'm sure she would say that you're the best dog mom around. You can do something to Paul that honestly is probably my favorite character trait about Paul, and that's that infectious deep laugh that we all know he has. <laughs> and now I have solace knowing that Paul will have someone by his side to forever make him laugh like that. So I'd like to raise a toast to endless laughs to Paul and Callie. Um, wow, this is very interesting. It's a very <laughs> feel. This is a weird feel. There's no question about it. Your resistance is high. <laughs>